My honors project is about looking at different uh, daily life experiences of the BD workers in North Telangana. And for that I did a case study interviewing 180 women BD workers. I was interested in questions on feminization and masculinization of work, uh, which got me into working with gender segregation in the Indian labor market. I looked for uh, whether there was a pattern of uh, segregation in, in the Indian labor market, and I looked at the relationship between uh, discrimination um, in terms of wages. My honors looked at um, the production network of India and tried to study how shock propagates to the economy. I looked at different sectors of the economy as a network and the um, input of one sector is usually just the output of another sector. So this builds like a network. I studied how shock propagates through these sectors. So is one sector going to be more important in this shock propagation? My thesis is divided into two parts. In the first part of my thesis, I look at money in various schools of economic thought. For this, I reviewed literature from various schools of economic thought. In the second part of my thesis, I shift the focus to the whole notion of debt sustainability that has been part of debate around global macroeconomics. My honors question uh, kind of resulted from an interest in further understanding the state and firm relationship in capitalist economies. State intervention in capitalist economies is normally seen as something negative. So I wanted to challenge this conception and I primarily did so through a literature review first where I looked at different theoretical understandings. I uh, had an interest in looking at how caste and gender aspects also play a role in BD working sector. I basically had a questionnaire with a mixed methods approach so where I mostly concentrated on why it has become a most prominent work in the place and under what conditions the women BD workers uh, came together for the struggle. So in the beginning I didn't really know what I was getting into but then later I found tools and techniques in network theory and um, this I found by reading a lot of literature. I think it has a lot of scope and I hope to eventually publish it somewhere or um, build on it further. I examined data from the last 30 years what I found was that most change in uh, Indian debt over the last 30 years is not because of accumulation of new debt, but only because of dynamics, Fisher dynamics, which is changes in interest rate growth and inflation. This is a very relevant issue right now in India, given uh, the debate about whether government spending should be increased or not. So I hope that these findings will uh, maybe be a small contribution to the whole discourse on government spending and fiscal policy in general. So I had to construct my own index since no prior data was available on the same and I did so using formal donation declarations. And what I found is while on in large during elections, Indian firms do not seem to gain much from being politically connected. There seems to be more a state story where firms which are connected to parties which win in industrialized states such as Gujarat and Maharashtra gain significantly. I realized during my research that tools and techniques were as important as the idea itself. So I think AP has been very conducive to the kind of environment they provided so that I can delve into these tools and techniques. Definitely the professors are a huge inspiration in Azim Premj University. Additionally, the environment of allowing students to take courses which are not from their major, I feel also helps uh, shape people's research interests. And just the kind of emotional support you get from your peers and the faculty, like the person I worked under for my honours, he really helped me uh, present my work. Right from the outset, uh, I have had uh, support from all faculty that have been here. So my mentor has been uh, a, co a constant source of inspiration. He has guided me at every step and helped me uh, figure out the questions, narrow them down and so on. And I also had help from other students I also and other faculty. There are a lot of faculty here who's, who's actively gone on the uh, field, have talked to people. And after my research, I had a lot of dilemma about whether I should stay in research or not. Through Azim Premj University, I came to like the subject and also grew an interest of maybe pursuing research as a career once I 
graduate from the university and the professors have played a very significant role in doing this because a lot of them are involved in very policy driven research and I think talking to many of them has been really helpful for me uh, to sort of Re realize that research and action does not have to be separate things. You don't have to be either an activist or someone in academia. You can be both.